Okay, today we're going to be talking about ledger lines. This is the treble clef version. If you're bass clef, you're going to want to watch the other video. Make sure you put your first and last name in your instrument. You only have one little vocabulary term for this page. Ledger line. Notice it's spelled L-E-D-G-E-R. Ledger line is a small line placed above or below the staff to extend range. I'm showing you very close up so you can spell it correctly. This word gets misspelled often. L-E-D-G-E-R, ledger line. Again, it's a small line placed above or below the staff to extend the range. So last, last lesson, we were talking about how when you get to the top, you, you get to the end of you know the top line and we just stopped we just said the name of that line and that was it but sometimes you need to play notes that are higher or lower depending on your instrument and what music you're playing you might need to play above or below the staff so the composers instead of uh, drawing like a 10 line staff because that would be really really hard for you to be able to see what was going on can you imagine if every time they needed to extend the staff they drew they drew more lines Oh my goodness, that would get really tough to tell like what note was what, right? You'd lose track. So instead of doing that, they just do a little baby line temporarily just for that note, okay? It's kind of like it's floating up in the air. Those are called ledger lines. Now remember, as you go up the staff, the musical alphabet goes forwards. As you go down the staff, the musical alphabet goes backwards. We talked about that last time. This continues with ledger lines above and below the staff. All right, so we're gonna look at this part first because going up is just a little bit easier to talk about than going down. So I'm gonna draw it here just so I can fill it out as we go. It's a little bit easier. So you've, you know that your top line is F. We talked about that last time. Um, Elvis's guitar broke down Friday. Where every good burger deserves fries. Okay, so your this top line is an F. We know that for sure, okay? The next note up, if you're going along and you're drawing your notes like this, you're going space, line, space, line. The next one is going to be right here. And it's going to be the next note in the alphabet, which is after F is G, right? Okay. Now we're out of lines and we're out of spaces. We've used our space. Now we need another line. So we're just going to draw a little tiny line. That's called a ledger line. You're going to put the note head on the line, which means half above, half below. And then note after G in the musical alphabet, you just repeat, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. So after G is A. Then the next one, we still need our ledger line, but now we're gonna go to a space. So it's gonna sit right on top of that line. That's a space. And now we're on B. And then this next one, we need our ledger line, space. Now we need another ledger line, C. Okay, all right, going down, it's the same, and, and that's what this is here, okay, just to, to show you and remind you, you think forward in the alphabet. Going down, it's the same exact thing, you just have to think backwards, so it takes a little bit more brain power. All right, so we know that this bottom line is E. Every good boy does fine, or Elvis's guitar broke down Friday. Okay, so this is an E. So the note below E, we're gonna go backwards. So here's our E, we're gonna go backwards in the musical alphabet. So that note right there is a D, because we went backwards. Okay, then we're out of room, so we gotta draw a ledger line, and we put our note head on the line, so half above, half below. That's a C, because the note before D in the alphabet is C, going backwards. Then below that line, it's like it's hanging on, it's on a space. And the note, I'm sorry, the note below C is a B. And then two ledger lines below B is an A. And then I went down to here because clarinets play this a lot. If you're a clarinet player, down to G, okay? All right, now some of you, depending on your instrument, you might not ever play up here, or you might not ever play down here. It just depends, but it's good to understand the way it works. It's super simple. You just say your alphabet forwards, say your alphabet backwards, that's all there is to it, okay? All right, so what you're gonna do, I'm gonna do a couple of these with you and then you're gonna practice doing it on your own. So this line has notes above, this, note has, this line has notes below. So let's do three of each. So this first one is done for you, it's a B, but this top, and you can, you can even write on here if you need to. Again, eventually you're not, you're not even gonna have to think about it. You're just gonna know that that's a B. But for now, you might have to think. So that's top line's a F, space would be G, line would be A, space would be a B. 
All right, right here, that top line's F. You're always gonna use that as your starting point. F, the next note up would be G. You can use this if you need to as well, but if all you're doing is looking here, eventually this won't be there for you. You're gonna have to just do it in your head. So it'd be better if you don't look there you know, for every note. Try to count up on your own and maybe check yourself. All right, so starting here, you've got F. The space would be G. The line then would be A. Why don't you pause, go ahead and finish this while you've got your brain thinking alphabet forward, and then come back to me here in a second. Okay, so hopefully you got this was B, this was C, G, C, B, A. And I didn't look up here at all, it's just super easy. I can read these notes as quickly as I can read letter names because I've done that for so long. So uh, to go like for C, you would think F, G, A, B, C, and you can use your pencil and count up or you can write your note names in if you need. Okay, now going backwards is gonna be a little bit tricky tricky because most of you have not been saying your alphabet backwards for very long, okay? So you're gonna have to really think and I would suggest you check yourself. Maybe cover it up, see if you can figure it out and then check yourself. So let's do that. So we know that this bottom line is E, okay? I'll tell you that. Now, go backwards in your alphabet and if you need, what you could do is write your alphabet here for now. Again, these are all just kind of like training wheels. Soon you won't want to be doing this, okay? But you could think, okay, well, here's my D. I'm sorry, here's my E. We want to start on E. I'm going to go backwards. So this right here would be D. Go backwards again. That line would be C. Go backwards again. The space would be B. Make sure you don't skip anything. And go backwards again. That line would be A. So that's an A. And then you can check the second ledger line below the staff is an A. That's correct. Okay, so then here you've got your E. You go backwards in your alphabet D. And one more to the line is C. So that's a C. Okay, why don't you pause and go ahead and finish it out on your own. All right, so just to double check, this should be a B, G, C, D, B, and A. The link to the next lesson in this video series can be found in the description below.